Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. So, finally Enhancement Shamans got changes. I know they are still amazingly strong right now in some situations, but they are too RNG to be reliable. So let's look through these new patch notes for the PTR and see what we can expect from Enhancement Shamans in the next patch. So, let's look through it. In an upcoming public test reel build, several changes are coming to Enhancement Shamans. So that's why I cannot show you in the game right now because the patch is not landed yet. <clears throat> We're adjusting the following talents. Okay. Boulder face damage bonus is increased by to increase to 35. Lightning shield will no longer generate any bonus maelstrom when the lightning shields when the lightning shield overcharges. Landslide change to a 40% proc change chance. Forceful winds reduced from 100 per stack to 80 per stack walk out the door you see someone that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand total mastery in the storm the storm total benefit increase from 5 to 10 hailstorm damage increased by 50 huh? overcharge oh my nose is itching Overcharge now causes a 9 second cooldown to lightning ball down from 12 seconds. Free of air damage increased by 40. <coughs> Crashing storm increased damage increased by 40. Hmm. That means more damage over time with these two together. I mean that's pretty cool. So some small changes down here. Lightning shield and forceful winds are both popular talents right now. And we we don't and we don't want to reduce the enhancements overall damage for changing to, to those two talents. So additionally, the damage done by all enhancement ability increased by five. Increase by I mean, this is pretty cool. This is like the meter in the game. This is this is like that's the good stuff we like, you know. To just oh, I'll just give us five percent, maybe ten percent, maybe hundred percent more damage, and everyone will be happy. The changes above should help make different choices on many talent rows much more competitive to each other. In addition to these changes above, should adjusting how many tools tooltips are generated. This may cause some websites to show that the damage or healing of almost every single aspect's ability has changed. Do not panic! We are not lowering all of your damage and healing. This will be a behind the scene data adjustments only. Thank you for testing. And then they made another comment to this. Nah, nothing more. Oh well, guys, I mean, that was... That was the changes for Enhancement Shemaine. I mean, we got some changes, but in overall we got 5% more damage. So in overall that means it's a buff. So, what do you guys think about these changes? I mean, I'm, I'm not sure where Enhancement Shemans are standing right now, so I'm, I'm not allowed to say I think it's a good thing, I think, I think it's a bad thing. I want you guys to tell me in the comments, is this a bad thing or is it a bad thing? Is this a bad thing or a bad thing? Is this a bad thing or is it a good thing? Because I have no idea where Enhancement Shamans are at the moment. So, but tell me, what do you think about these changes? Is it worth or is it not worth? So, thanks guys for watching and well, yeah. Keep on, we, we don't have many days, I mean only one month to the next patch and then we'll get some more funny things to play again. So, 
thank you guys for watching um, and have a wonderful day.